take 76. That one was really good. <laughs> now, regarding the matter, the argument um, regarding the matter of um, Mark Golden's uh, citizenship status. Well, according to the Jamaica Gleaner, Mark Golden declared that he is indeed a British citizen. Now, of course, many of you, you know, uh, Mark Golden supporters, um, PMP Diarty supporters, um, you will push back with the argument and say, yes, he is a British citizen, but the Constitution allows him to be a parliamentarian. And that is true. That is 100% true. You may also push with the argument and say, so Siaga never, never the Prime Minister didn't come from America. That is also true. The problem here is Mark Golden blocked Jamaica from becoming a republic because he wants full decolonization. Is that you are missing out a road? Maji. Mark Golden wants full decolonization. And I agree. Me agree to full decolonization, you know. But how are you going to have full decolonization? How, how can you be fully decolonized? And your, say, Mark Golden become prime minister. Your leader of your country is not fully decolonized. Explain that to me. The leader of your country is a British citizen. But he said he is not going to sign off on the constitutional re 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 reform um, 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 documents because he wants full decolonization. But then he will hold on to him British status. And that's the problem, you know? And of course, as you said, it's not the constitution presently. Say, he can serve. He can be a parliamentarian. But let me ask you a question. Julie told us, well, everybody did a beat the other day. Everybody did a beat Julie told us. How, oh, oh, it's unethical. She cannot be speaker of the house. It's unethical conflict. Conflict of interest. No, 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 no. She had the prime minister wife. No, 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 no. Which constitutional law did Julia Tolness or the JLP break when she became House Speaker? Only say it was unethical, right? Only say she should have stepped aside, right? Now that one say, because it's conflicting. Now that one say, now that one say because she and her husband have shared the same pillow. Now that one say, so how comes you now say, it? all right now, for Marky Mark, Marky British, be a British citizen and becoming Prime Minister of Jamaica at the same time. Or be Prime Minister of Jamaica at the same time. Oh, oh no, no, no problem with that. When, of course, when you're a British citizen, where your loyalty lies? Where does your loyalty lies? In case of any form of catastrophe or any form of, you know, you know whatever happened in our country, when you know so them sending for Marky, British and his family, to lift them out of the country, to take them out of danger, to, 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 to out of harm's way. We don't know that. Because the British are going to protect them people. There are so many layers on this thing we need to peel off, you know, people. A whole heap thing, you know. If we, are, if we are trying to get reparation right now, if we are trying to get reparation, because, you know, say the British them, you know, they give the slavers them 20 million pounds, for quote-unquote, buy with freedom. If we now should get to the point or get in a position where we can bring a lawsuit against the British state, can you trust your head of state to vouch on your behalf when he has, when, when he has, he, he has, he has pledged allegiance to the, the British state? When he is a subject of the king, a subject of the British state? You don't find nothing conflicting with that. You have to trust a man where is a subject of the British state to go vouch on your behalf for reparation? You sure you want to do that? You trust that process there? Remember, say, you know, Virgin, when you are a British citizen, you know, let me tell you the next part where it says, you know, listen this, listen this, listen this. See? It says, British citizens are not allowed to serve in a foreign military. See? On the Foreign Enlistment Act 1870, which makes it a criminal offense. So if we become a sovereign state 
and we sever all ties with the British state. See? And don't bring me the Commonwealth argument to me. Because Mark Golding said, full decolonization. And the Commonwealth is not, you know, is, is, is something where the, the British them implemented. For take to oversee. Yes, where I say, them interest. That is what the British state, the, 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 the Commonwealth is. Just to oversee massa interest. So we have to have a full decolonization, where me agree with. See? Like full decolonization, like make Jamaica be the final appellate court, and that me I deal with. Full decolonization. Me support you on that, Marky G, Marky British. I support you on that, you know. But you're the problem now, if we become full decolonized. You, Marky Mark, as a British citizen, cannot serve in a foreign army under Foreign Enlistment Act 1870. Now, you are going to say, but you're not serving in the military. But what if he's the Minister of Defense? What if he choose to be the Minister of Defense? If he should win the, the, uh, the seat to become or the election, the general election. When I think about him something. Eh? Again, you know, it has say you're not bridging. Right? It has say you're to um you cannot leave the majesty dominions with intent to serve a foreign state. You can't leave the majesty supremacy. You can't intentionally leave or put aside the, 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 the monarchy, supremacy, government. Yes, what I mean, I say? You can't do that, you know. You can't do that to go serve in a foreign state. You cannot do that. So what the implications there you know, people where we need some answers upon you know. And I don't have all the answers in you know. That's why you have the experts them. Like the Bar Association, we can clarify these things. But me as a lame, lay person. Me think say, well, if you check in them things still. Because I remember saying, you know, the British and Jamaica, they have a treaty, you know. Where, you know, if you are British, you don't have to pay taxes at Jamaica. So there are a lot of loopholes for Mark Golding if he's a British citizen, you know. One him can't take him money and go save it in a, in a British territory. And nobody can question it. But if he's not a British citizen, can he take his money and just go, save, go save it in a British territory? Those are questions for the experts then. According to his status declaration, he doesn't own a home in Jamaica. He doesn't have to own a home in Jamaica. You see? According to what I read. I'm not for one at home in a Jamaica. Because I'm a British citizen. I'm not from Boya. I can leave at any time. So, I want to not check into them things here. I have so much more questions. But then I think we fill up your cup for the day. Yeah. See? So, Marky British. Do the right thing, man. Give me a hand up, man. <laughs> Give me a the bridging. Lace up your shoes. And buckle up your belt. Are you time, my G? You see, remember I said, let me show you under the bus when I record you and put out your, your voice note out there, you know. You can't trust nobody, you know. Maybe a Marky British to set it up. Because he say you're strong. Yeah, man. And me, I tell you, say, if I, you did that, you know, if, if you were the, the leader of the opposition, I mean, I think, say, mm, nobody could have get me for campaign for them, you know, because I'm a G. Because you sit down with we as artists and, you know, show enough things. Big up yourself.